Okay, um, so today I wanted to do kind of do like a get ready with me, get unready with me. Just like a regular day, like uh, it's Saturday and we're gonna go hang out with some friends. So let's do it, I guess. Quickly, this video is in partnership with Walmart Beauty, just so you know. So the majority of the products that I'm gonna be talking about today are, this is shaking, are available at Walmart. Um, just quick. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up in a small town that had zero stores. Um, so when it came to beauty, our options were Walmart or drugstores, which were, for whatever reason, marked up like crazy. Like going to the drugstore to get makeup was always so much more expensive. So it's kind of funny. I actually like think back the majority of my beauty, skincare, um, shower stuff, beauty in general, perfumes. I was buying all of that stuff at Walmart. And I was actually really surprised to see like how much beauty stuff, how much of like the regular beauty products that you might think you have to go somewhere else for are available at Walmart. So anyway, the first one that I wanna talk about is the Billy Razor. You guys probably have seen this, like ads and stuff around for it. I don't, I think I just am really bad at like buying good razors. I was using, um, I don't even, I. Truthfully, I don't even know what brand it was. I don't know where I even got it, uh, but I was just buying the same razors over and over again. And I didn't realize that they were kind of terrible. <laughs> um, but anyway, Billy is uh, super nice. It has this like coating here that like when it gets wet, you don't need shaving cream or anything. I think they sell shaving cream, um, but I didn't really feel like I even needed it. So I just like, it makes it just like so much faster or whatever. Um, and it also has five blades, which I think the one I was using before only had three or something, but this is so nice. And I don't think I've ever not nicked myself when I'm sh shaving my legs, um, but this is like, like going around my knees and my ankle, like the back of my knees, I was always cutting the back of my knees. Um, and I do not have that problem with this razor. So uh, I highly recommend if you need like a, a good razor that's affordable. The pa I got the two pack, like the, the razor with like a double refill or whatever. And it was like very affordable. So just saying. And then they have like a bunch of different colors and it comes with a little like sticky thing that you can keep in your shower or whatever. But I really, really like it. So if you're looking for a new razor, I highly recommend this guy. But so I just hopped in the shower, I shaved, um, which in retrospect, I was gonna wear shorts, but it's actually not that hot today. So I ended up wearing pants, whatever. After the shower, uh, I quickly did my hair. Uh, I just blow dried it and used a little bit of like a leave-in conditioner with SPF. Let me know if you wanna see like a, a legit hair video. Uh, and then uh, for my skin, I'm just applying sunscreen today. So no moisturizer or anything like that, just sunscreen. Literally just did a bunch of videos on sunscreen. So they're around and popped into some real clothes. And then once I have my real clothes on, uh, I've been kind of obsessed with the uh, dossier. I hope I'm saying that right. Dossier, dossier, dossier fragrances, which are also available at Walmart. This is Spicy Orchid. I can't remember what this, if you guys don't know what do, dos, I'm gonna call it dossier, cause like whatever. That sounds stupid. Dossier, I really wish I could pronounce it. They're basically like much more affordable versions of, of luxury perfumes. So uh, this one is like cinnamon, pink pepper, mandarin, I don't, ylang ylang, is that how you say it? Uh, orchid plum, sandalwood, vanilla, incense, patchouli. It's kind of like, um, it's very unisex, which I love. It's like a little bit more grown up in my opinion. And it has like a really nice, I'm so good at, at describing fragrances. I think it has like a really nice um, all year round kind of scent where it feels like a summer night, but it would also be super good for like fall and winter. Yeah, a little bit more grown up. But anyway, this is also available at Walmart. Uh, I believe these are like 30 bucks for 1.7 fluid ounces, which is really good. Uh, you can get all this stuff on walmart.com. So that's what I spritzed on myself. So I am going to just like quickly get ready. I'm not doing anything like super fancy or anything. I really want um, kind of just like a natural look. So I'm actually not going to wear foundation today. So I'm gonna start by just kind of dusting a little bit of a translucent powder around my face. And um, I used a very hydrating sunscreen today. So I don't really feel like I need um, to use cream products. I'm probably just gonna use owl powder to kind of like balance that out. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of a peach color corrector underneath my eyes because I have not been sleeping. Last night was no exception. 
horrible night's sleep. So I've been looking really tired recently. Well, the last like couple of days. And then I need a hydrating concealer just to do like a little brightening and correcting. So I'm curious where you guys buy your makeup. Like, do you specifically go to like cosmetic retailers or um, like designated cosmetic retailers or like other stores? Like where do you purchase the majority of your makeup? Cause I know a lot of people also like to buy their stuff at like um, clothing stores, which is kind of interesting. And do you shop online more or do you like shop in person? Cause obviously swatching is really nice, but I feel like the majority of my shopping especially for beauty, which is so crazy, happens online. I don't know why. Okay, so just focusing this in like the dark areas, just to kind of like brighten up. I don't even know if I'm gonna use a powder underneath my eyes. We'll have to see how it goes, especially for like very natural days. All right, so my thing on natural days has been contouring with a brow pencil, which I realize to some of you who might be new, might seem like so strange but it really works so well. <laughs> it just looks so incredibly natural. Natural. And like, I'm, I'm talking like um, contouring my whole face. So doing my cheekbones, my jawline, and then even like my eyes. Um, and not just like this, my temples, but like actually like contouring my eyes, like <laughs> lining the top lash line and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I have it all laid in. Now I'm gonna go in and blend everything. And I promise it looks so natural once you blend it out. I know it looks like just scribbles all over the place, but I'm so like, I'm essentially putting this on clean skin because I just used concealer like underneath my eyes and in the center of my face. And I just feel like it blends into your skin like so nicely. I look like a little clown. <laughs> This is also how I like um, apply full glam makeup tricks to very natural looking makeup. So this is just like a very, very, very natural and light version. I mean, obviously it looks kind of crazy, but like of what I do for full glam, you know? So you can see I'm kind of blending a little bit more like haphazard because it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm really just trying to like blend it into my skin so I have like a decent shadow and like enough of a definition. But the more I blend it in, the more like natural it's going to look. I'm just throwing down a little bit of um, an eye primer on my lids just so that it doesn't get like too oily. And I might just set it with a translucent powder and just leave it, you know? I want very natural today. All right, I'm going in with just like a light dusting of my bronzer. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Flowerescent Blush, which I don't think is available anymore, but I really, really like it. Um, okay, I'm gonna run just like a very cool toned <laughs> brow pencil through my brows very lightly. If you saw my 90s brow um, tutorial, then that's, just, that's kind of how I'm doing it. Not quite as thin, but it's kind of how I'm focusing the color. Just gonna set that with a little soap, but just a small amount, just something to like keep them in place. Okay, the only thing that I really want like popping is my cheeks. I want like a nice highlight. I'm gonna use a powder highlight. Um, I would probably use a cream, but again, just because like my skin was a little bit more dewy, I just don't want it to get like oily, you know? So I'm going in with a Becca Champagne Pop. Just gotta get those popping cheeks, you know what I mean? It's a necessity. All right, and then I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara, waterproof mascara. Okay, so I just put on a little bit of a nude lip liner and um, some lip balm. Um, I have this like little white head right here that is forming that I'm not a fan of. We're gonna have to take care of that later. Yeah, so this is basically how I get ready for like a, I don't know, casual weekend situation. Uh, when we get back, we'll I'll show you how I take all this stuff off. And we'll take care of that little guy. We got. I gotta go wake my boyfriend up. He's still asleep, and we gotta go soon. <laughs> so, outfit: boots, jeans, belt, thrifted jacket, top, shades. 
morning. <laughs> Yesterday was so long. I rarely have those days where I'm just like doing something all day long. We just like went out with, uh, we met up with some friends that are visiting in town and then we went and we grabbed some food with some other friends and I feel like the day just like went by so quickly. Once I got home, I was just like exhausted. I was so ready to take my makeup off. So I started off with using the Versed uh, Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It has eucalyptus oil and vitamin E. So it's like super refreshing. Oh man. The best part about this is like, if you're stuffed up, I've had the worst allergies recently. It just like opens up your sinuses. <laughs> I don't sound like it right now because I like just got up, but, um, and, but the vitamin E is like super hydrating and it kind of like melts into your skin. You guys have used cleansing balms before. And I just like use that to break down all of my makeup. Not that I was wearing that much, but um, especially my, you know, waterproof mascara and um, uh, my sunscreen. It's really good for taking off my sunscreen. So I used that, which is also available on Walmart, just so you know. So I just kind of like work that into my skin on dry skin to break all of that stuff down and then add a little bit of water, which breaks it down even further. Uh, and then I typically will just go in with a cream cleanser. So cleansing balm and then a cream cleanser, super gentle on my skin. And it's like, but it's also getting everything off, you know? And then before I go in with my moisturizer, <laughs> I have these little guys from Starface, which I also got at Walmart. Um, so you guys have, these are called the hydro star, stars. So I've talked about hydrocolloid, hydrocolloid patches. And basically what they do is you pop them on any area that you feel like you have, you know, something popping up. And rather than popping it yourself, it kind of like draws out all of the gross stuff. But a lot of them are like clear or kind of obvious. Like it's like basically this clear like circle on your face. And um, so you can't really like wear it out. I mean, you can, but... I feel like most brands are trying to get like as close to making it as invisible as possible, but you still kind of see that like shiny finish, I guess. Starface is super cute and they're kind of just like leaning into the fact that like, just make it cute, you know what I mean? So these are little hydrocolloid patches, but they're little stars, which I think is adorable. Cause I truthfully, especially with like Euphoria making fun makeup more popular, I would much rather like run errands with like one of these on my temple than like a fleshy circle. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I always use these on clean skin before I go in with my moisturizers and stuff. And then I will apply like my moisturizer and my um, tonight or last night I used my retinol, ret retin-A, my tretinoin. <laughs> um, so anytime I feel like I have like a little thing popping up, I'll just pop it on. I had like a little thing like over here that I put it on. And that has gone away, which is really nice. Or it's like, looks a lot smaller. Um, but now I feel like I have a little something popping up on my chin. So I'm gonna have to use it again tonight. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this like get ready slash unready with me. Um, now I'm about to like redo the whole process. So uh, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. And also if you are interested in any of these products, you can get them on walmart.com. Uh, obviously everything will be linked down below, but um, I would highly recommend checking out Walmart's like beauty selection because it's so much bigger than I thought it was. So a lot of the products that I would typically think that I needed to go to like some kind of a specialty store for are actually available there. So, um, all right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of things, um, vlog-ish style, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.